Hi guys, this is uh, another video of the um, uh, drawing backers. Um, this is just uh, going back to the Robocat. On this uh, video, I'm just going to show you how to do all the electrical wiring on it. Uh, so, um, to start off, we've got these uh, motors. They are um, DIYS motors. They're 200, uh, 2300 kV and they weigh uh, 400, about 40, 40 grams. Which is pretty light to be honest because um, they're pretty foul, uh, powerful <clears throat> and they can handle up. Yeah, I got these uh, 12 amps ESC, so I'll just open it to show There you are. They're nice and small. They'll be going. They'll be going inside this uh, bottom tray here. I'll just put these aside now because we won't need it. And because uh, what, what I normally do with these, um, I'll attach the motors, and I'll see which uh, which rotation, like which way it's rotating, and then I'll attach them onto each of the sides, and I'll color code it because one of, one of them would be counterclockwise and clockwise. So I'll make sure like they've got the right side on. So uh, when I throttle it, uh, the screws won't be coming undone. So uh, yeah, just to make it a bit easier. For this uh, setup, I will be using the CC3D uh, and uh, I'll be using OpenPilot, as you can see this I've printed out. And um, once I've uh, installed everything, I'll have light motor one, two, three, and four. And uh, these will be the rotation that they'll have to spin after I've um, added uh, my ESCs and um, and made sure they're rotating in the right direction, I also added a bit of heat shrink on there just to make sure it's uh, nice and sealed. And uh, just heat it up a bit just to shrink the heat shrink. <coughs> and uh, now what I need to do is make sure I put them in the right tear. In the, in the right place, so um, it'll spin in the right direction. I've actually pre-tuned them because what I done was uh, before I welded them, I welded one on. I always welded the middle, the middle one on of the EC to the middle motor because the ones you have to change is the ones on the outside because uh, it, then it'll make it spin in different directions. So then what I done was I just plugged that to the lipo. Plug it to one of these fly sky receivers with twin aerial and um, on channel 3 because channel 3 is the thr a throttle on the fly sky and I, with, uh, with this uh, control I just basically throttled it if it was, it was working and uh, the thing is I calibrated the ECs uh, one by one the way to do it is is basically when your motors are turned off you plug that into your, receive, into your receiver on channel 3 which is the throttle and uh, before you turn anything on well, you can turn the control on, but after you've turned the control on, you full throttle it, and um, you turn, you plug this into the lipo, and then it will just, it will make a couple of beeps, and you put the throttle back down, and it will just, the calibration will be over. I've done that with all my ASCs just to make it, just so the throttle response will be a bit quicker, and. Uh, This is the uh, nearly the final steps of uh, setting up your Robocat. I've got all the um, all the motors plugged in, all the ECs on there, 
and what I, what's, how it's meant to be on there is basically one, two, and three, and four. And on here, on this side of your CC3D, you'll see you'll see it's saying one to eight, or one to six, sorry. And then uh, you can you just basically plug them in order of like the one, two, three, and four. And I've plugged my CC3D to the, my laptop, and as you can see, if I move it, it actually shows me on my laptop that it's uh, the right software. Um, sometimes you have to download uh, different types of uh, um, software. This was, the, I think, it was the 15.0.2 um, for it to work with the CC3D. <coughs> and uh, to uh, plug your receiver, your cable. Basically what I do is, I get to the end where it's got all the, the three stuck together and I, st I start from on the, on the receiver, any works with uh, any receiver, let's see where is the one, channel one, channel one is the bottom one down here, this one here, so I'll do one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and uh, I'll just basically I will follow this up from this end to the up to the from this end to this end. So uh, this is what I mean from following it from one end to the other end, so it's from the top end to the bottom end. Now going on to the final step of um, setting up your uh, CC3D, and as you can see, mine's already connected. I've linked the um, my CC3D to my laptop on there. And uh, using the OpenPilot software, and uh, the version I'm using is the uh, 12, uh, 15.0.2. And because there's different versions, as you can see, it's all like all the gyros working, which is good. And uh, to set up your CC3D, at the top of the uh, screen, you've got a, an option tools, and it'll say vehicle setup wizard, and it'll give you this. At the beginning, it'll give you a warning, basically, to remove all the prop all the propellers, uh, which I have. Uh, it's recommended you do, just in case something goes wrong. <coughs> and so I press next. On here, it gives you the option to upgrade it, and uh, I recommend you do because it's uh, it makes uh, your CC 3D um, with the new firmware and uh, gives you a bit more stability in the air. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, it'll be flashing. Uploading the new software to the CC3D, <coughs> and on there it's uh, recognizing the USB device from the CC3D to the laptop. And uh, once it's connected, these lights should go green because it's uh, it'll be your TX and your RX, so basically your transmitter and your receiver. Um, and yeah, and it just basically that means you're connected now. <coughs> it can detect both your receiver and your, your, your transmitter and the receiver. And on here it gives you the uh, type of uh, board you've got, which is detected the uh, Open Pilot Copter Control 3D. Uh, on this option here, the PP PWM option is what we've used here. We basically uh, we've connected all the wires from 1 to 6, but I only use about 5 to be honest, but you connect 6 because you might use a 6. And uh, if you wanted to use, uh, if you had a PPM receiver, which I do, but I'm just doing it the long way to just to show you guys how to do it. Um, you'd click on here, and what the PPM is, is instead of using all the wires on the, on the receiver, you just use one and it does everything. But we're using, today we'll use the PWM, and we'll go to next, and it will ask you to choose what type of uh, vehicle you have. And we have a multi-rotor, so that. And it's uh, the type of uh, the quad here we have here. It's a quad X, which uh, you can see the option up here. And if you go next, uh, you can. Uh, it's got the what type of uh, ESCs do you have? I've got the um, Emax uh, Simon K 12 amp ESCs, which uh, they they're quite rapid ESC. So I've chosen the rapid ESC option on the middle, and. Uh, <coughs> And they just basically tell you the uh, specs you've chosen on there. And you go to next, and you don't have to calculate. Or, or you can calculate, it just calibrate it to be honest. But with the CC3D, if you do crash it, 
uh, you have to basically unplug the battery and plug it back in because what that does, it calibrates the uh, OpenPilot or the uh, CC3D. And it's done that, so we can go next. On here it, go, it gives you some uh, warnings and how to do and what to do. Basically you shouldn't connect your battery before it asks you to. And when you do connect your battery, make sure your props are removed just for safety precautions. Okay, and then here it says I removed all the propellers on my vehicle. The vehicle is not powered by any external power, so I've got no no uh, LiPo battery connected to it, just the, uh, USB, the USB coming from the laptop. And it's, uh, I have confirmed and read the instructions. And I press start, and it gives me the option on there to say that uh, I can connect my battery now. <coughs> and I'll go to over here. to the lipo. There you <coughs> and it gives you a little tune. It's just basically setting up the ESCs. And then you can now press stop on that. Sometimes the motor power up really quick, sometimes they don't. But that's why it's just safer to remove the um yeah, it's asking you to uh, remove the battery. But you can, you can actually keep it on the battery, plug, plugged in, and go to next. And the next option is asking, it's uh, very important to remove all the propellers. And we'll go next, because <coughs> what this is, it basically tells you what motor is which. So if you press start, so if you press start on there, uh, start, and then you push this, slide this up. It'll slide, it'll slide the motor, and here, as you can see, it's sliding the wrong one. So I've plugged it in on the wrong side. So, there you go. And we'll just see if we can. And basically, you just do this with all of them. And uh, and you basically just press next once you've done the motor one. And you test the motor too. See that spinning. And you make sure that's spinning in the right direction when it is. And you go to next. You stop there. You press next. There you go. Once you've set up all your motors and uh, you've seen that they're connected correctly on there. To the, to the uh, one, two, three, and four. What you do is on the vehicle setup, you just press next, and it will ask you to choose what type of um, vehicle you have. You can either choose your own current tuning, or you can choose to basically. They've got some options on here, <coughs> and it gives you the uh, the weight. And the um, like I said, the Mar uh, Mar 250s. To be honest, the ZMR 250 is the best setup, in my opinion. Um, I choose the one with the Mobius, the 530 grams. Um, there's one 630 that would be, would be better because the Robocat is a slightly heavier than the um, the ZMR 250, and it means the motors won't be. Uh, work too much. So you press next and save. <coughs> and then it gives you the option to set up transmitter wizard. So you basically go through that and it says on there uh, during this option the uh, motors will be at the song. Always with the song for your safety. <coughs> The beginning of the uh, set, the, tra the transmitter setup wizard will give you this option, and you just press next, and it'll ask you what type of mode you want. Is it acro mode, normal transmitter for fixed wiring or cords, 
or helicopter. So you want acro mode, which is the quads mode. And you've got mode two, mode one and mode two, mode three and mode four. Basically mode one is where the, the you've got the throttle and the uh, like the controls, like the throttle controls on this side. And mode two is where you have the throttle controls on this side. And as I've got the throttle controls on this side of my control, I'm gonna choose mode two. And then in the wizard there, you can see um, moving the sticks up and down. So you just basically do the same. Once you follow the steps, the um, you'll come to the option where basically it will tell you to see if your controls. So basically, if you're moving up, that should be moving down and up exactly as your control. And on here. See at the moment I'm moving down and it's going up and I'm moving side to side on the other side so down is going up and up is going down that's all it is you just go onto the on here and you just press pitch and the problem is now resolved so you got all the controls working properly and uh, you just press next and next and the option I always put on here is you to the right because your to the right is basically that slide down and that's that's your your and um, I, always, I always use uh, to disarm in about 10 seconds so if you don't uh, if the motors aren't activated uh, for the period of 10 seconds it will uh, disarm itself just for the safety and on here you just press save and uh, it's connected it's still connected to my laptop and if I yaw to the right, out. it will just like tell you it's armed. And if I yaw to the left, it will just disarm. Because if I throttle it, it won't do anything. But if I yaw to the right, out. Yeah, it's armed. And I'll just throttle. So you see. There you go. And there you go. We have a working Robocat. I just need to add the hood. And um, it'll be good. This, well, this uh, model uh, will be flying just without the uh, the yellow covers because um, uh, I've just uh, resprayed them 